Well, it's Monday afternoon and you know how we do it on Citizen TV. It's time for Monday Football. All the action of the football over the weekend, we have it right here in studio. Special guest in studio today, we promised you five weeks ago that when they make it, because we're confident they're going to make it for the Africa Cup of Nations, the women's version, we promise that we'll bring them in studio. Today, we've got the national women football team in studio with us. First, we ask you, things have happened over the weekend and our question of the day is, do you think our officials, offic officials in football are influenced by external forces when they make certain decisions on the pitch. Nasikia Saturday, Pesa ilitembea mahali wahiga. Pesa ilitembea vipi? I think that's the question. <laughs> that, if I read for you what I have already, I need to sift. Yes. I need to go through, I mean, hashtag Monday football, yes. I am sifting those people um, uh, are alluding to the fact that they are outside forces controlling the league. At times, mina fikiri hiko. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's a big talking <laughs> point. Well, it's definitely been a great weekend for Kenya. You saw what happened in Singapore in rugby. It's Monday football, but we have to congratulate the team for that. But we also have a great team here in the studio. I'm joined by none other than the Harambe Starlets. What in Duru, Harambe Starlets, Afadali? Very good, very good. They'll be shouting more and dancing a, dancing a bit more as they get more comfortable. Of course, sometimes the camera can be a bit intimidating, but we have the team here with us. And this is the team that we believe before the end of the year, they will bring us home a cup, a title, a trophy. They're going to bring us home something when they go out to play in Cameroon. So they're here with us. And of course, on the ones and twos, playing us that music that we always love, DJ Crossfit, what do you have for us? Can you give us just a small set? <laughs> Well, first things first, interesting weekend at football it was, of course, and keep talking to us. The hashtag is Monday Football. Michael King will be following the conversation on Twitter. I'll be following the conversation on 22422. Let's go to the highlights, where it was a poor weekend for Gor Mahia. They went down 1-0 to Tasca, but that game, the decision which awarded Tasca the goal, was highly contested, and many believe that Tasca did not deserve that penalty. Let's take a look at the highlights, and you decide for yourself whether that given or what that was right or not. Have a look. Well, just got into his way and tripped him. <laughs> to be just very <laughs> blunt about it, he just tripped him. Well, uh, set piece by Batambuzi. As Tasca lined themselves to attack, Gormaya pushing themselves to defend. So from the left side, then it will be. Uh, Shafiq pushes it in, a lot of pushing and tagging, the flag is up on the other side and, uh, He's called for a penalty Shafiq, the assistant on the other side is saying there's been a handball and, uh, If the judge Mwangi tries to move into position, he'll actually be in a penalty But Tambuza brings it in There's a lot of people in this one and, uh, Difficult to find out from that angle, Jacob. I don't know if he called for a handball or he called for the tagging because there was a. So David Malongo. Uh, uh, the decision that Mr. Malongo has made, pegged on the assistant referee. And then Mieno puts it in the net. Uh, and Tuscar see would be leading in the 70th minute of the game. Uh, but then. Uh, Alfred Mieno puts it in the net. Uh, in the. And of course that informs our question of the day where we are asking you, do you think referees sometimes make decisions because of external forces? Do you believe, is it possible that referees sometimes make decisions on the ground because of external forces? 22422, the hashtag is Monday Football on social media. In other matches, Ushuru FC got their second successive draw in the Kenyan Premier League after a one all draw with AFC Leopards at the Nyayo National Stadium. Onjala takes the free kick. Gives the chance and a perfect shot is in the net. It comes off the midfield from Philemon Otieno. The man was yellow carded a couple of... Well, you and I will get a chance to see it again. Well, the shot going into... The shot... Make it another one. Aswani and Odoji, it's in the net. And the left has leveled the goal. Aswani is asking the fans to raise their voice and be taught. And 
As they get closer and closer to the team, Ulinzi Stars suffered their second successive defeat at the hands of Madara United when they were humbled 2-0 in front of their home crowd at the Afra Stadium in Nakuru County. Clearance, half-hearted, and it's Eric Johanna looking for a shot. Johanna goes into the box, shot and goal! And it's the second goal! Beautiful goal from the striker! He's been shooting the whole day and fine. Oh, they are being torn apart at the back. And Madari once again in quick formation. It's left, it's right, it's left. Well, 2009 Premier League winners Sofa Parker are still in trouble. They lost their eighth consecutive game, going 2-1 down to Kakamega Homeboys, despite taking an early lead in Machakos yesterday. Well, we shift gears a little bit and we go to the underage competition where Coast Region won the 2016 title of the primary school ball games that were held in Eldoret in Wasim Gishu County. The Coast Boys won 7-6 in post-match penalties against Mao Region to snatch the title. Ronald Kiprono scored in his own net to give Coast the lead. They were 2 nil up after 29 minutes with a goal by top scorer James Elgis, Hassan Mohamed and Ismail Mohamed scored for Mao for a 2-2 draw to take the game into penalties. Well, the moment you've all been waiting for, the big talking point today is Harambe Stars and the Harambe Starlets, I beg your pardon, and the Africa Cup of Nations 2016, where they qualified. Now, I want to take a look at how they actually qualified, and I'm going to be helped here by Samantha, who's a goalkeeper with the Harambe Starlets. I'm going to read the first part of the story, which Michael King did, and then she'll introduce the second part. So the national women's football team, that is the Harambe Starlets, have done what their male counterparts, the Harambe Stars, have failed to do for 12 years. The girls have qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations 2016 after a 1-1 draw with Algeria at the Kasarani Stadium. The two teams drew 2-2 two -two on Friday last week to hand the advantage to the Kenyan girls. That's the story from Kasarani. <laughs> Entrance was free for this crucial match and the sizable crowd was anxious given that the Starlets needed a draw of less than two goals to qualify. They started on a positive note and had the ball at the back of the net after 16 minutes only for the Lions woman to wrongly flag it offside. On their second attack on the Kenyan goal, Algeria stunned the Kenyan fans with a well-executed free kick. The response from the Harambe Starlets was superb. They attacked with more urgency at one time, rattling the Tunisia crossbar. Going into the halftime break, Algeria was leading 1-0. In the second half, the home girls threw everything at Algeria. The effort finally paid off in the 76th minute. Chief Cherish Avila's deft touch found the back of the net for Kenya's equalizer. Much as Algeria tried to get a winning goal, Kenya stood firm. 
the final whistle was music to Kenyans' ears. The celebrations were long and wild, a culmination of hard work put in by the girls who have been together for a long time. We try in the first half, we play slower, but of course we, 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 we come uh, uh, by a goal down in the first half, but we didn't, die, we didn't, we didn't we keep on pushing, because we knew even 1-1 one, one is, is possible. So we, have two, we had two options and we had a chance. So this is something that we were keen about doing, and of course we want to thank that the players pushed hard and to get the goal equalizer. That was the turning point. The African Cup of Nations tournament will be held in Cameroon in November. It's the first time that the women national team, the Harambe Starlets, are qualifying for the Africa Cup of Nations. The onus now is on the under-20 boys side to also do the same as they play Sudan in the return leg right here in Nairobi. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV in Nairobi. The reaction in the studio when the Starlets are watching themselves, it's been five days actually, six days since they won that game. And the reaction was what we had at the stadium. We couldn't understand what they were doing. I would engage the coach, coach, what is that all about? Now you're surprised at what you are doing. <laughs> yeah, for, for me, uh, okay, uh, at the moment that the whistle uh, was blown, uh, in the back of my mind, uh, the girls have really sacrificed a lot themselves in playing the game uh, under difficult uh, circumstances. And uh, in my mind was, uh, yes, they have done it. Because we find a goodwill from our federation, the new office, and uh, they really uh, managed to do their part properly. So also, they had, had returned the, uh, the, the, the worth uh, to what the federation also believed in them in terms of uh, our logistics. So many people are saying, we're playing Algeria. Okay, let's wait. Yeah. So when the result came in 2-2, is when people said, ah, okay, maybe we can. Not that we can do it, maybe we can. When did the belief get to you guys that actually this is our chance? Yeah, true. Thank you, Mark. This is a, a good question to ask at this moment. Uh, for me, I've worked with this girl since I took over in February uh, last year, uh, second. Uh, the, the, the essential thing is uh, these players, they accepted their willingness to learn. First of all, they accepted to learn. So for me as a coach, it is more easier if you find people who are ready to learn. So as a coach, the process is I have to educate them properly and, uh, and again, and I direct them in the field, they have to do it, and finally I have to assess. So they were, they were really there to be corrected and of course to show them the directions. So this willingness already as a coach, I had confidence and trust uh, with the group that I've been working with. Because under difficult circumstances, they're always uh, patient. And for me also, I want also to congratulate also Citizen TV because they were there since February 2nd. They know the process, what the girls have done. And for sure, for me, I want also to congratulate them because to find a, a girl child who can accept to play the game and of course to accept to learn is very essential. And this was the secret and this was the turning point that as a coach we had that belief together. And in any situations, I told them particularly in this eighth camp, because uh, since uh, February, this is the eighth camp that we have been together. Uh -huh. I just told them going to Algeria, listen, you have 24 sisters. You have to make an history. People have to remember you in something. So in front of you, they are not only Arambe Starlet, but also 24 sisters who managed to pull a two to draw away. In fact, away match, we could have won it. They played very well under the difficult circumstances. The passion was there. They knew what was at stake. It's true, Algeria have been there in the Nation Cup five times. So we knew if you overcome them, then it means uh, already we'll have a chance. And if you combine it, the five of Algeria and the one that will be going in six. So at this moment, the motivation is what is ahead. We need to qualify for the World Cup because we have eliminated a team that have been there fifth, uh, five times in the uh, Nation Cup. If you add one, uh, then it is six. So it means you have to give all that it takes because for me as a coach, in any environment, if someone accepts to learn, then it means you can always check what he's doing and it's ready to be corrected. Captain, does it sunk in that you're actually going to the Cup of Nations? For me, Bado, see you Bado. I don't know about you. For us to say me Bado, yani Bado, me kwangu. Arasi Amiri, wasababu ukiangalia from last year where we came from. Yeah, tuna na hiyo kitu bado ijaingia. Bado ile tu tuko kwa ile nili ati tunaenda Africa Cup of Nations kwa sababu tulikuwa tumewait for so long na ilikuwa the whole Kenya walikuwa wanatuangalia. 
So ile kwa kwetu ilikuwa ni ngumu tulikuwa tuna expect tutashinda tushindi lakini nilikuwa na thank god sana kwa sababu ile motivation ilikuwa kamp na maplayers despite coach alikuwa anajua lakini maplayers walikuwa nazili tulikuwa tumekula kiapo hmm. atutoki kwa rais yule ana kitu ilifanyika na South Africa so yani tuli thank god venye alituwezesha na tukailiki juu kiangaliana venye tulikuwa tumefungwa first half Mm. Si maplayers bado tuko na ile zili ya kumaliza game hata wao wana second half juu tuko unajua tunaenda tu hizo wakiacha rais. Yo yo bado ni wapata off guard kidogo yeah. but chances zilikuwa mko me create yeah, a lot of them. Goal imekataa. Yeah. Mkiongea discussion zenu zilikuwa gani because mlikuwa na chance kama tatu first half. Yeah. Ingekuwa 3-1 discussion hii ilikuwa ni nini before muende half time because most of the time kuna mnashikana mna consult mnaongea even before coaches waongeleshe yeah of, most of the time hata kwa ground tulikuwa tunaongeleshana tulikuwa tunaambia tu bieni hizo chance jua kia mwa kupura wao ulio na second half venye Algeria wali waliamua ku after kufunga hiyo bao waliamua ku waste time wajua it's it's on huyo ndio anataka na wa defend so tulikuwa tunashautiana hata kwa kiwanja tu bieni hizo ma chance tuna waste hapo tulikuwa tukishikana tunaambia na fika ukiona nani amefika na ball for example tulikuwa tunasema ukiona nani amefika na ball na kama nao hivi sasa wetu esi na mwanalima so ngeni ndani mtu malizo hizo chances jitu kwa tunaweza a lot of chances not only three chances tulikuwa na lot of chances mm. but nilikata tulikuwa tunaongea in terms of scoring points yeah. after bao mkaamua sasa ni entertainment yeah tulikuwa tunza ni dio draw after bao tukaamua sasa tucheze bola tuna haraka sasa ni au sasa walikuwa wanaitafuta sasa mm. yeah cameroon nigeria yeah. egypt um equatorial guinea yeah uh, au ndio tumeweza commit yeah Sijui mshafanya research yenu kidogo tu kwanza mkaona hizi timu zinakaji. Ah tushafanya research kutoka kitambo sana. Si tunataki kujua hizo timu zinakaji. Si tunataka kujua vile tunakaa. Watu walituambia Nigeria they are the best, they are, they are what, they are what but we didn't look at them. Si tunataka tu sisi tuende tu, 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 tujitolee tu tuwe game yetu ndio watu wazidi tuona. Ndio tukikamba tu angalia research ya zile timu zinakaa. Maybe tutambua Nigeria wamecheza for the 12th time. So unapata kama Kenya ni for the first time so tuta hiyo ita pull back but si tunaenda pale na game yetu tutaki kujua their giants we don't want to know where they play their style of play but tuna go pale tukiamua tunaenda world cup mimi team ile nataka manifungieni south africa because <laughs> waliponea tu yeah yeah so mkikutana south africa strategy utakwenda ah uh, tukikutana na south africa na hope sasa hii itakuwa tuwafunge mapema kwa sababu win ku win fast kwa game inakuwa inakupatia pressure inakuwa down inakupatia unaweza cheza ambako enjoy game hmm. so kita na South Africa tutagu for early goals yeah. Wahiga, yeah. you've got a couple of questions that I know they don't expect <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of questions that I know they don't expect but I need the help mm -hmm. of the captain yeah. uh -huh. So if she can come here <coughs> Pusha Maneno, Karibia oh. I want, I want uh, yeah. to get to know this team a bit better Yeah. Uh, and you're the one who can help me because I want you to help me mulika some of them Yeah. Uh, but first things first Mike I think maybe they should just quickly introduce themselves once again Yes. for some of our viewers who just tuned in this is a team they need to note na watupatie nickname zao juni mingi nickname pia ndo tunataka so do I have nani yako na Mike mtu wa kidanganya mnatuambia jina ile amefit tuanze hapa but tuanze hapa because there are a lot of ladies we we'll start with men first coaches ok naitua Noren Sobo goalkeeper trainer goalkeeper trainer club ni poster rangers na nickname kuvimbo <laughs> Amesema <laughs> that boy here Nigeria Well Well Ah uh, next Oh <laughs> Nigeria Jack your goal Ah uh, na cheza position 8 Okay Club ni Spedag Okay thank you Next na tumekaribisha my condom Naitwa Ethel Kida na cheza Kenya Methodist University Mimi striker nickname ni mama Naitwa Tabaka Chacha mini midfielder club ni Makolandas. Mhm. Mm Tutakarola ina nyango club ni ni UCU Uganda. Nickname ni Rockers. Mini midfielder kam utility player. Ari mazima nickname ni Rockers. Ilitoka wapi hiyo? Rockers. Rockers ni litwist to Karo. Ika kuja Mimi ni mbeka basi. Kazi hata Mike wa kui. Mike unaona jeu ni mimi nimepotea hapo. Hapo nimepotea. Tuendele. Kwa majina naitwa Rosemary Alwatch. Mimi ni kit manager. Nickname ni Maradona mama Ra. Kuna jina ameficha. Kuna jina ameficha. Kuna jina ameficha. Kadondi. Alafu. Okay naitwa Mary Adiambo, deputy coach. Nickname yangu. Eh, ni sema? 
this is a goalkeeper at the media football team webo akakuja kamuiba huko webo nataka transfer fee amemulipa kweli cheri salano midfielder from kenya methodist university nickname ni avish avish samantokea from kenya methodist university mini number one goalkeeper nickname ni number one Nickname ni number 1. Ah ah. AKA Ajule. Ajule. Sa, Kapi? Yeah. Eh, I want you to help me select who is who. Yeah. In this team. Yeah. Number one, fastest runner wa team ni nani? Hey, Ayuko. Ayuko. Fastest runner wa hii team ni nani? You say involved wa hii team ni nani? Esi. Esi, Esi, Esi hapa wapi? Ndio ule. Ni huko ile? Esi. Eh, mpe mic akubali. Kuna kata akubali kwa sikuna zingine watu watakataa. Ni huko ile? Ni huko ile. Ni huko ile. Sawa, sawa. Kata na hiyo mic. Best dancer ni nani? Wow, wow, Ajule. Ni huko ile? Ana dance king ngoma gani? Gani gani gani? Gani kwa? Yoyote anaweza dance. DJ tupe moja, tupe moja. Tupe moja sasa hivi. Ile ya blue sky mche. Sasa hivi. Sasa hivi. Utangoja mshinde afcon ndio dance. Sasa hivi. Hapana. Sasa hivi. Sasa hivi. Sasa hivi. Mafanzo amesema sasa hivi. Sasa hivi. Amka, amka. Hapa. Hapo sawa hapo sawa Tendele kapi Best dribbler ni nani Leta mpira leta mpira leta mpira Wacha tuwana hizo skills DJ kuwa 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 Mweke tu hapo Hizi kuna kiwanja hapo Kiwanja kiwanja Kwa hii enda utonyeshe kitu hapo Leo lazima tuuze arambi stalet kwa wa Kenya kweli Dribbler tu Hamesema ni wewe Kama dancer ni just ya wewe DJ kwa nangoma Twende. Ni vile tu ameboeka unaweza keti vipi? Thank you. Okay sasa best eater. Wow. Number 
Nani upenda kulala sana hii? Kulala. Yaani kuamka kwenye ni shida. Kwa ma players. Kwa ma players. Kachalina Samantha. Wasimame. Wasimame tuwaone. Wasimame tuwaone. Wapo mama. Mama ongea but tuwaone tuwaone. Watu wote mkesea za mteremki ndio hiyo hali yao wili. Wa wili. Hawa. Nataka coach a confirm. Eh. Ni kweli? Andi olala sana Saakate sana Mneza keti Nani upenda kupiga kelele sana Amin Asumame tumuone Yuyu Mpe mic Mpe mic Nabucha hapa dede kidongo tukusikie Iyo siwezi Mina upenda kelele ya story Unapenda kelele ya story Kama sa hii tupe ka story kadogo Kamta Kamta Eh ai ama ka, give us a story about your team ka kitu too interesting ma eh Kizanu Scon Yes So nataka tuambi ukirudi mtaani Sio ulikuwa ulikuwa celeb eh ulifunga ukaonekana kwa TV Ni story gani unapiga mtaani sasa Eh I guess Sai bado nimejificha niko chini ya maji. Baadaye <laughs> mambo itulie alafu sasa ndio watu wataanza kuniona mta. Wakikuona utawaambia nini? Au amenizo ya nikifanya hizi vitu so lakini niko sure wa, wakiniona watanisumbua mambo na Africa Cup of Nation lakini bado uko tena kwa represent. Swali ya mwisho cuz nasikia maybe mnaweza pale chance ya kwenda state house. Ukipatana na Excellent President Uhuru Kenyatta na uambiwe wewe ndio utamwongelesha utamwambia nini? Mr President tunataka tu support yake na sponsorship kwa women football hiyo peke yake mapofu hapo sawa hapo sawa tuendelee basi we are almost done na wengine wajasimama hapa so i'm wondering what they do in the team nani yako most active on social media twitter nini kila kitu Chukua mic mnielezee how do you proof proof no yeah take yeah one of you explain kwa nini mmemchagua Mnike yeye ni msagwenya sana ama mkasubuya sha post in camp show media right kwa kwa zote mke mic fanyeni saidieni wahiga mkisema sangwenya wahiga na kupokea Oh hasla uko kwa platform gapi Facebook? Aye. Ni kwa tuko Facebook na WhatsApp. Na Twitter? Twitter? No. Instagram? No. Snapchat? Not okay. Tuache hiyo. Nani chopi kwa hii kwa team? Chopi. Hata kama ni gazeti ama vitabu hivi upenda kusoma tu sana. Watu wako wengi sasa ndio kwa sababu ya the one who stands out. Mimi nitakuwa mmoja. Chris. Chris apo wapi? Chris I know me kwa. Chris apo wapi? Eh. Chris lazima ongee kidogo. Na ndio umenyamaza hivyo. Sasa chopi wa team. Mambo Chris. Wa. Mama, director anasema atakuona. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. Wewe upo na kusoma vitabu gani? Well, no, I'm just going to read like this and then I'll put it in the gazette. Sports kwa gazeti. Mm. Kama sasa hivi novel gani unasoma? Alive. Bye. Iko ya Ken, alicho Ken Wickman. Abu mimi shika mic hapa. Briefly in one word tueleze hiyo story inaenda vipi? Okay, ni watu walikuwa na travel na ndege then wakafika mahali ika crash hiyo ndege then after go crash walikuwa wame couple for like six months. Yenye umesoma. Tulikuwa tunakuwa wakaanza kukulala wenyewe kwa wenyewe. I think we'll take a break. Unaweza keti asante sana Chris. It's good mic. We're getting to know the players. 
Eh, yeah. e, nani mpishi bora kwa hivi? Mpishi bora. Akikupikia hapo uko sawa. Karo. Mpe Mike. Specialty yako ni gani? Mm, napenda kupika nyama. Nyama ina gani? Beef. Beef. Eh. Uh-huh. Nyama tu. Uh, nyama tu ikuje na kitu. Oh. Accompaniment ya nyama. Chapati. Eh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pembe. Oh. Pembe. Eh. Mike kuna swali hapo. Ni nini uweke kwa hiyo nyama? Mbona unasema wendo mdeadly kupika? <laughs> Sababu washaonja. Hiyo <laughs> food iliwapikia ule kanina nini? Eh? Hiyo food iliwapikia uliwapikia nini? Beef. Ninaweza hiyo beef ulipikaje? Tueleze kidogo. Even me I want to be. Nita, nitaweka nyama kwa sufuria nikate kate vitunguu, nyanya, viazi hata mawe ndaweka nifunike. Tupe pombe. Chemuke. Bas ni kitu kwa nyama na yosha. Na yosha then naweka uh, kwa sufuria na na chamaji kauki nayo nyama then naikaranga na mafuta fast then ndio sasa na kama ingredients <laughs> gani hizo hizo ndio mimi nataka kujua hizo oh, <laughs> kitungu saumu kitu kama hizo yani au <laughs> tungu <laughs> next time mind to talk about transfer of kitchen hapa lazima yeah. na kina raburu akiwa na kitchen we set one up and we'll see what we can do kwa kwa hii team hey. nani upenda kuomba sana free time hey. anaenda na kuomba kanisa hizi kwa akiwa nani 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 acha nisikie nani mimi ni wewe eh hey. ni wewe eh hey. acha tabaka kwa huyu na kwa ngapi so pastors wa team ni wewe tabaka na mkono watu wa kujua Na so, daddy so, moja yule. Sawa. Asante. Aya. Sawa. Nani yako shai sana kwa iti? Shai. 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 Interaction shida. Sana hiyo shida. Kapaa. lazima watu wamulikwe. You know this team has come here how many times? Kama kija one? Eh. Na tumeenda kwao one. Yes. Eh. So, na kuna watu wajayo ongea. She was hiding behind the coach. Mimi mm-hmm. 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 Salima wa Kenya akuone, kaamka, mm-hmm. tafadhali. Mm-hmm. Habari ya leo? Salama sana. Kwa nini watu wanasema wewe ni shai? Ni ukweli? Si ukweli. Na kwa nini ulijaribu kujificha? Oh, sijificha. Naomba watu wewe. Oh, sijificha. Eh. Niko alive, niko alive. Hapa mnioni. Niko hapa. Uko alive. Asante. Comedian wa team ni nani? Hai hai, yes, my missing action. A committing in action. Number 2. Ne dogo na lady wako wawili. Eh. Okay, now I'm wish most social. Yule anapenda kuongea na kila mtu. Samantha. Samantha. Samantha kwa hivi. Wewe your life of the party. Samantha kiwa party lazima ishike. Eh. Media huu wa media huyu Nataka wa dance ni watupeleke kwa break. Si ndio? In fact, oh. ni wala wako social. Kwa hiyo fr- from social media what I'm seeing. Go ahead. Wanasema huyo Demali dance. Eh. Hey. Alikuwa amejificha katikati ya watu. Aliyete mtu mwingine yule anajua na dance na ye waingie kwa open space. Eh. Hey. Hiyo hey. hiyo ndio alicheza. Okay. Ngoma ngoma gani? Ngoma gani? Angla. Mr. DJ wako hangla we about to take a break we'll be back yeah. after this wako wapi wako wapi ni watu wapeleke kwa kiwanja tafadhali back by public demand tafadhali tafadhali twende hapa hapo 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 tafadhali
baba donita Jiri jiri toyo hao Pepina Mucho mado nyapindi yo Jepi masaina Obera na chumbo tama yo Ukiwa mbali mamu Ato tina Obera obera mili yura yo Tuhine nene Baba donita well, what a hot show that was the first half. Uh, we needed that break to calm down, but now we're back. We continue with some of the action that took place over the weekend, but now not here in Kenya, but uh, across the borders where Yannick Balotzi's late equalizer. So Crystal Palace take a point from Arsenal to, present, to prevent the Gunners from moving back into third place in the Premier League. Enjoy his foot, but I think the keeper helps Sanchez make his mind up, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Yannick Balassi. Balassi! They scored! It wriggled in through Petr Cech at his near post, and Crystal Palace have found a way to equalise. I mean, I thought he was a little slow in getting there, but Adebayor did well to find him, and when he cuts in... Elsewhere, let's talk about Leicester, and we better be talking about them because we probably will be talking about them for a very long time. They showed impressive character, quality, and resilience to draw 2-2 against West Ham, despite, of course, Jamie Vardy being sent off, uh, but, uh, and they earned a crucial point with that draw in the race for the Premier League title. The run now from Okazaki. He's in the middle of the picture now. Pushing, looking for a yard. What's there? I think we so it's down to Andy Carroll. And Schmeichel goes the other way. West Hassan. Cresswell! Oh! oh. oh. See it's off. We'll see how much contact there is, Andy Carroll. Where's enough? It's a point. And arguably, that is one point closer to the Premier League title. In the second. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp is happy with his side after an experimental side of young players came out with a 2-1 win at Bournemouth. Our sector again, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp was delighted with the performance of his young experimental side after they won 2-1 at Bournemouth. Robert, I think that's the clip we have. Okay, next one is Manchester United in the English Premier League. Manchester City raised their hopes of a top four finish while at the same time confirmed Aston Villa's relegation after they won 1 0 at Old Trafford. That's Rashford! Inevitable! Manchester United giving youth a chance since the 1950s. Wayne Mooney with an unbelievable ball to Valencia. No one's tracked him. He's been getting down that right side really well. Pulls it back to Rashford. And he does the rest. But from Rashford's point of view, Clark's marking him. And then it's intelligent from Rashford. Because as the ball's played, he stops his run. Clark keeps going. And it creates that space then for Rashford to put in. Well, let's talk about the other Manchester. And a Sergio Aguero hat-trick moved Manchester City closer to securing Champions League football next season. With victory at 10-man Chelsea. It's Conquero! Fabulous finish! Nasri supporting, Navas is wide of him. Aguero is through the middle. Nasri for Conquero! You know what happens next! Fernandinho, not a space to charge into. Away from Cahill. Fernandinho, Courtois upended him. He knows what's coming next. It's a penalty and he's off. Well, for this intro, Wahiga, watu wa Manchester, watu wa Barcelona, kama kina Webo, listen to this carefully. Real Madrid waltz to a 5-1 win at Getafe to extend their run of consecutive La Liga wins to 8. Webo mesikia, nane consecutive. Apane wa Manchester yako. Take a look. Away cheaply again. Look at this, down the right side. There's an awful lot of space. And there's space. Cuts it in. Benzema! Helps it in. Okay. It's four on three, it's a four on three situation. It is Benzema. Benzema. That is good. We start it and brilliantly finished the move. Benzema. Oh. Good ball. Great ball. Fail. 
perfectly placed for him. Can he finish it? Of course he can. Look at all that he's tried, Garrison. Little touch here for Sadamir. Oh, yes. Oh, the goal of the game. Right out of the top drawer. Ronaldo is the obvious choice. Here is James walking in. Good goal. Good ball. Yeah, brilliant run. Ronaldo's offside. Not noise, not. He gets his goal. Well, made by Hesse, who was onside. So Hesse. And finally, now highlights of the weekend. Lionel Messi, he scored his 500th career goal. But Barcelona suffered their third straight league loss against Valencia, who won 2-1. Now, this is the first time that they have lost three consecutive matches since 2003. Takes a deflection off Ivan Rakitic, which beats Claudio Bravo. And Valencia find themselves against the run of play, 1-0 ahead. Parejo again here. This would be even worse in stoppage time in the first half. Santi Mina giving no chance to Bravo. And Valencia with uh, little possession of the ball. Passer came out in the second half looking to get ahead. And uh, Leo Messi brought them back into the game. Set up nicely by Jordi Alba, it's a typical uh, combination. Oike, I can tell you for free, umefungua Pandora's box on Twitter. Maswali. Now they've taken the cue. So should I direct this question to my channel? Wanauliza Maswali. Yeah. Patience Kimani says, Avisha ametoka fa na naenda fa zaidi. Atueleze. Sasa tuambie. Ni watu top scorer? Hebu <coughs> tuambie story. Patience anamaanisha nini? Okay, mimi naweza sema ana mean nikianza nili, ball ya za ball kitambo sana na back in the days I was playing with men. Nilikuwa nacheza kwa tournament, then I was the only the, I was the only lady kwa hizo tournament. Timu ya Machali. Timu ya Machali. Eh nikicheza yeah. nao Kaluleni. So I guess mm. ameniona niki grow ndio maana anasema hivyo safi okay mtatafuta zingine nikipata waiga nisaidie hapo angalia tu hapo ukipata 2 2 4 2 2 um wengi wanataka kujua how they can join the team Nancy from Thika I really want to join this team um city high citizen I'm Zipora Kemuma and I'm a good footballer I would like to join the team please on advice on how I could join uh, mwingine anasema hapa Wahiga and Mike you have chosen to exhibit the starlets in lieu of football technicals i don't understand what that means just to be fair please exhibit the stars likewise should they ever make it finally kimani from nairobi i let the stars up if they make it what makes ni sawa what makes it all letter yes we bring everyone anybody who makes it we bring them here yes chris ako api chris ndio yana niangalia hapa i try and remember kandu ya to you who's ni chris yeah amelenga your story memory yangu is deadly usiogope Unajua Demar anaitwa Jacqueline Awino. Chris. Unajua Jacqueline Awino? Kwa Twitter anajiita at @jabernyaseme. Anasema alikuwa classmate wako. Anasema, "Congratulate the starlets for me. Chris was my schoolmate in Valley Bridge. We are proud of her." Eh ni ukweli nilikuwa Valley Bridge. Labda tu sura imepotea. Jina yake imepotea lakini labda sura inajua. Jina imepotea. Ulikuwa unacheza ball squeeze. Eh, Valley Bridge. Ah. Ulianzia wapi? Nilianza 98. Ah. Okay. Sawa sawa. Wacha nirudi kwa coach hapa sasa. Coach, preparation is key. Six months. Each team lazima ipikwe vizuri. Yeah. Where do you start? What is the short term plan? What is the long term plan? Yeah, definitely kitu kwanza anataka kushukuru uh, federation kwanza kuwa na believe uh, for these girls kuweka kwa this competition na pia anataka kushukuru all the leaders wenye wamekuwa na good will for this team since it starts and all along uh, as a coach now also one thing that i can tell you because it is one of the secrets of, of this team mm. this is also a very prayerful team we always get kuna ma three pastors here mm. now of course pia kuna ile kanisa tumekuwa tukienda yeah. kushiriki 
na tumekuwa tushiriki pale Kenya Assemblies of God pale kizuri 44 and uh, pastor Nicodema Swaka tunataka kumshukuru because amepea pia standard spiritual nourishment which we make keep to date and also nge thank my family kwa lao kwa here so above all preparation is key bila umesema na for me uh, there is a very good will uh, from the federation in terms of logistics so sike rada kufanya ni kama coach have to come with a plan until uh, wakati tournament wa chila november so it means of course a cycle itakuwa in the first uh, three months of course ningependa that na assemble my team in the last week uh, of, of every month for example mm -hmm. wanna train uh, four days then the fifth uh, day from tuesday then on saturday they play a friendly match na objective ni uh, tuna draft the fifa calendars that tutakuwa nazo uh, the, uh, towards the uh, baka maybe november that we play at least uh, three friendly matches mm -hmm. which uh, two in a one in a kuapa east africa then uh, the second one tuweza cheza na west african side maybe the, the third one kama tuweza kuwa na training base camp for example inje itakuwa even better for our girls because sisi tuna believe uh, na believe ya kenyans also is the women teams ya that peleka kwa world cup so mimi ningependa pia ni visit the countries zinzeko kwa pale kwa world cup na tujaribu